you know, maybe one of the other sacrifices that I've made, uh, compromise that I've made, uh, uh, you know, is that there's a lot of good, other good causes out there. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll become, you know, one of those people that scream and yell, uh, you know, about doing this or that. Uh, and, you know, try to take up some of those other worthy causes. And, I really enjoy working with young people. Uh, it's exciting to see the crew come together, to finally understand what we're trying to do here, you know, to, uh, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I uh, try to pass on the information, you know, to people who at least think they want to farm. Um, <clears throat> but I also, I, I just enjoy the work, the physical work aspect of the work um, you know I like I like seeing the season unfold every year it's different every year I like um, I like working with with the seasons you know I mean uh, gives you something to complain about most of the time <laughs> but uh, um, yeah I mean it, it's something new every year uh, day to day um, you know and bottom line, I mean, I like I like growing good food and, and getting it out to getting it out to people that I know really appreciate it. You know, I think I think my biggest compromise over all these years has been my own personal life. Um, I don't think I don't think people realize. How, how much how much time and energy even when you're not on the tractor or out harvesting or planting uh, uh, you know it just kind of never leaves you and uh, it's tough on your relationships uh, whether they be your, your your friends or or your life partner uh, uh, especially if your life partner is also your business partner it can it can make that it make those kinds of relationships are really, really difficult. And uh, uh, so I think, uh, uh, you know, I think for me that would probably be my, my biggest compromise that I've had to make. I, I'm a pretty, you know, being from Texas, I like people, I like to be around people, and uh, uh, I think over the years I've had to kind of sacrifice that a little bit. You know, a good compromise. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, um, you know, you start at six and maybe you end at six, and uh, um, you often don't have enough energy to go in and and prepare the food that you've been growing all day long. You know, and that's uh, kind of sad, but uh, luckily there's good local beer that that. <laughs> Could make that a little easier. Yeah, I mean, my, my hope is to is to you know continue farming as long as I'm physically able to, as long as uh, you know um, people still want to come here and and you know learn what we're what we're doing and uh, uh, you know. I have, I've told uh, several apprentice groups because they ask, you know, well, when are you going to know that it's time to quit? And uh, uh, I think when I can no longer say goodbye to them, when it, it already is, you know, you, you get a group of people and you spend six months together, you get really close, and uh, at the end of that time, it's hard to say goodbye. You know, and at some point in time, I'm not going to be able to do that.